cancel culture, a phenomenon that seems to have completely taken over the internet and has played a hand in the downfall of multiple celebrities in all different industries, with some of the biggest creators in the world now being put under a microscope. Cancel culture is a complicated mixture of justice, misinformation, and moral gray areas. While some outcomes could be positive, the impact on society might be darker than you think. Let's talk about it. It's been a crazy couple weeks if you've been in tune with all the current allegations getting thrown around. Seems every day a different person is being exposed for some weirdo activity. If you're blessed and haven't been completely eye assaulted by all the non-stop YouTube videos and posts on the stories, consider yourself lucky because you've been watching the same video in a slightly different manner with no real thought put into the content. So instead of just making the same info dumping video, I'd rather talk about the bigger picture. What do these allegations really represent and how does it affect content creators and celebrities moving forward? I guess the first question to ask is what does it mean to be cancelled? Well let's take a look at Dr. Disrespect's situation. A popular streamer who's recently been called out for having inappropriate conversations with an underage female. This news apparently has been kept under wraps for a while as Twitch banned Dr. Disrespect from their platform four years ago in 2020 over these alleged messages and the actual messages were sent in 2017, so seven years ago. However, all this controversy was just brought to light now. Now this is usually the case for these situations. It's always some weirdo thing the celebrity has done in their past that over time has been brought to light by some whistleblower, let's say. If it isn't something they've done in front of the world publicly, like let's say the baby who openly did things to get himself canceled, like making stupid comments and basically beating the shit out of everybody. Like put this man in the ring with Jake Paul or something. At least make money off being that dumb. It's usually something that's been a kept secret or done behind closed doors, but is now made public. How accurate is reporting on events from years ago? Hard to say. I'm first to say that there should be no time limit when it comes to releasing the truth and getting justice. However, the more time that goes past creates higher probability for inaccurate information. Like if I asked you details on a sandwich you ate yesterday, you'd be likely to give me a pretty accurate description of the events. If I asked you about a sandwich you ate in 2017, you'd probably look at me like I had two heads. There's plenty of room for both victims and weird to manipulate the story when that much time has been passed. Then usually what happens next is the crime or situation is thrown on the internet for everyday people to consume. This is usually done with a clickbait post on a news page on Instagram with minimal explanation or a clickbait thumbnail on YouTube created to draw you in. From here the situations are usually diluted even more because not only is the info being reported dated usually but now you have people who are in no way shape or form involved in the actual situation reporting and throwing in their two cents in on the topic most of these outlets are so thirsty to drop content as soon as possible to compete with other outlets that they often report false info or inaccurate info to their large audience look at this kai situation the popular streamer is recently dealing with a cancellation of his cameraman a guy who's been a part of his team for a while this guy apparently was messaging weirdo content to a minor back in 2021, 2022. So yet again, another event taking place years ago. Now where my point makes sense with this situation was when the story was originally pushed by Complex, they had reported that the person facing allegations was Chris Next Door, who was a member of Kai's streaming group, AMP. Now the issue is that Chris Next Door was not the person facing allegations. His cameraman just happened to be named Chris. So now you see the issue here, because now this large platform released info that could be damaging the Chris Next Door regardless if the articles take it down or not there was a ton of people who probably saw that and immediately unfollowed chris next door or walked away with that narrative and passed it on to other people if the info wasn't diluted before it's now even more diluted especially when everybody suddenly becomes an investigator like give these people a platform and they become sherlock holmes look at this mr b situation you know the biggest youtuber in the world basically the poster boy like if youtube was the chocolate factory this man is willy wonka doing rolls for clicks there's now controversy over one of his close friends and members of his team talking to minors and partaking in weirdo activities like buying art from a man that makes pictures of underage children. Yeah, this now gets Mr. B sucked into the cancellation as the weirdo formerly known as Chris Tyson, now Ava Tyson, yeah, was attached to his brand. So people are now claiming that he must have known of this weird activity and maybe even been involved as he was a part of the chats where weirdo stuff was happening. A video was also made by a former Mr. Beast employee who exposed the lies of Mr. Beast and his manipulation on the outcome comes of challenges on his channel as well as manipulation of his young audience go check that video out if you want to know more obviously take it all with a grain of salt as you always should but also just acknowledge how many views just this one video generated from a first time upload why is that 
Well, that's because Mr. Beast is huge. If anything, he's the highest peak of the YouTube platform and known for being probably the most generous man on the internet. These are the people who are targeted for cancellation because it's a big story. The bigger the person involved, the more clicks and controversy comes behind it. So what's next in this process? Well, the public now runs with whatever narrative is created by content creators. So out of hundreds of YouTube channels that have now reported on this said topic, let's say half of them are actually reporting the truth or accurate info due to rushing to get that video off or even getting their info from platforms like Complex that had already reported the wrong thing. Then you have the channels that pretty much steal what was said from bigger channels and report that false info. And you're pretty much in a clusterfuck of brainless idiots. There are people who can hear anything and run with it as if it's the absolute truth. Kendrick says Drake likes him young. Now on any post or video about Drake, you'll have an internet follower who can't think for themselves comment some corny joke about Drake liking kids. The final step is when the big companies follow the public perception. Look at Jonathan Majors, who was said to be the major villain for a number of up and coming Marvel movies and the face of the next phase of the movies. He gets hit with allegations of domestic assault and before he's even stepped up to defend himself, Marvel Studios has already fired him and removed his name from their up and coming projects, replacing him with a more marketable face that has good standing in the public. It happens with every person involved in a cancellation. What happens next is either that said person is blackballed or they potentially face legal punishment and boom, cancellation complete. Now, there's absolutely nothing wrong with victims coming out and reporting their crimes or events and there's nothing wrong with taking real evidence and getting rid of these weirdos. Get them all out of here. There's no reason at all to be speaking to minors. Full stop. No debating, no discussion, just don't do it. And that aspect cancel culture is a good thing but just like anything on the internet good things can be tainted the issue we're now seeing with cancel culture is that it's being overused and abused as a threat the internet is so fast to find something that they can use against these figures it creates an issue where everything you do as a creator is overly judged or investigated by the lesters of the internet they'll find any reason to bring you down and dehumanize you even when it's not warranted look at how many times the internet tried to cancel charlie or penguin zero as many know him just in the past few weeks over the dumb things. The guy had a conversation with Logan Paul and he's been publicly shitting on him for years and now he's fake and must be cancelled. Charlie doesn't upload the Ava Tyson situation on his main channel and people are saying he's being biased on who he talks about because she's a trans. Like it's ridiculous how small these issues could be and the internet will run with it. Even the Mr. Beast stuff, like is he manipulating his children viewers? Probably. I wouldn't fully say he's innocent, but these channels are coming for him like he committed murder. At this point, if you ever done something morally questionable, don't even try to gain a following because somebody will eventually dig it up and it's over for you. These creators are legit afraid to even say or do the wrong thing. Like Kai is pretty much the one that canceled his own friend over a two to three year old age gap because he was afraid of being canceled himself. At this point, cancel culture is an unstable force in our society. This is, this hysteria has gone a little bit too far with the pedal hunters so and under the guise of 20. protecting children, people have really infantilized everybody. He's a three year, four year age gap, I don't care. He's 21. What I think for Kai, Kai's probably hearing from his manager, we gotta cut this guy or the audience is losing their mind and Kai's just reacting to that. But to drop your friend over a three to four year age gap, maybe there's information I'm not privy to, so I'm gonna reserve judgment. But that seems kind of extreme to me. At this point, cancel culture is an unstoppable force in our society. And the only real question left is, will it ever end?